Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penright Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House and Pace Farm Eggs. Hello and welcome to this special New Zealand edition of Classic Restos. But first, here is some information from the clever ones that help to bring us Classic Restos each and every week. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. For oils, coolants, additives and technical assistance, oil right, use Penright. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. OK, I'm back for 2016 Americana here in New Plymouth, New Zealand. What do you say, guys? Oh, oh yeah, Fletch! <laughs> this event, over time, has certainly made its own impact within the Southern Hemisphere, and it's created a name for itself around other parts of the world as well. It's a gathering and a celebration of a pretty cool lifestyle that these vehicles represent. Welcome to the 2016 Americana event. What do you do when you have the Americana disease? Induce more therapy and this is it. Hundreds of American classics filling fields and towns popping the eyes of thousands of spectators. Countless numbers of school children lining the streets to greet the endless chrome-plated procedure. A gathering of the finest restored and preserved American classics. The cars where other manufacturers of their time turn to to get their ideas. Cars that were built in a time that from a production standpoint seems ridiculous by today's standards. Massive V8 engines, cars 20 feet in length, dripping in chrome, elegant cars, muscle cars, hot rods. If it was made by Uncle Sam, he wants you to enjoy it. This is Americana. Now as unique as Americana is, hundreds of entrants meet here each morning and cruise to a different location each day. And at the end of the day, everybody goes their own way. And then the next day, they all gather back here to do it all again. This is the first official start day. It's Thursday, and it's Ladies 50s Thursday, with prizes for the best 1950s look. This episode will comprise a little of Thursday and Friday. There are two destinations today. The first stop will be the New Plymouth Airport, via a cruise through Egmont Village and Bell Block. We may even see a formation flyover by some classic fighter planes. Then it's coastal Taranaki. First stop will be Openaki. We will head out of New Plymouth via the famous Surf Highway 45. Openaki is a morning tea stop with an opportunity to check out the area. It is well known for its beautiful beach area and its surf. After that it's back on the road again. This time Howrah is our destination. We will cruise to the CBD, park up and be treated to some more of the outstanding Taranaki hospitality. But before we depart, let's have a look at some of what has turned up. Cars gathered up here in the paddock just before everyone departs on their first run today on Thursday. We have Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Fletch. How are you? I'm pleased to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. I've seen a lot about you. And uh, it's different when you actually are faced with a camera. Well, I hope it's all good. 
It certainly is. <laughs> um, Bruce, the arrangement of cars here at Americana, it's always just mind-blowing. You've got a 1953 Mercury Monterey. What can you tell us about this car? Well, this car, the Mercury Monterey, it's from the Ford stable, but um, it's marketed as a Mercury, an upmarket version of Ford, really. Um, we've had our eyes on this particular model for about 12 years. Um, it finally came up for sale, so we bought it, being a Ford guy. Where did you get it from, Bruce? Well, it came from actually Napier via Wellington, and it's been in the country, in New Zealand, for many, many years, and um, I belong to the Ford V8 Club of America, North Island region, and uh, that's where we first saw it. Bruce, the interior, same colour coding as the outside of the car, looks magnificent. Uh, absolutely so. Uh, the yellow and the black, and that's it, it just highlights it, and it's a ma magnificent machine. 1953 too, I mean, uh, what an incredible dashboard. We've got the levers, like it's something out of the Thunderbirds, isn't it, you know? <laughs> it is. What a, it's a big job for someone to work those levers just to let a, a little bit of air in under the dash, you know? We have. We've got little ports under the dash, and you can kick it with your toe, <laughs> and it'll let fresh air in on both sides. Even my wife does that. She just puts her toe in and yeah. opens it up. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? If you want a little bit more, yeah, you, you put the whole foot in. Yeah. yeah, well, the side windows, you've got these little adjustable side windows, and I tell you what, that's as good as any modern air conditioning. Isn't that amazing? It really is. I tell you what, there's something about this car that late model cars don't have, and that's the chrome out the front. What an incredible front on this car. I mean, they could see you coming for miles, Bruce. <laughs> well, I like the boldness of it and those two big... Um, spinners on the front and that identifies it for what it really is. What power is it under the hood? It's um, the last of the flatheads and uh, it's got the stroker kit in it. It's um, about 125 horsepower so it's enough to yep. send it along reasonably well yep. and it's got a Mercomatic in it, two speed Mercomatic. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Well, look, Bruce, look, there are so many cars here at Americana and you're one of the lucky ones. You've made it to the episode. You're going to have a fantastic next few days and enjoy driving along in this gorgeous Mercury. I mean, you must be really looking forward to it, are you? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely love every moment that we're cruising. Now, Bruce, your lovely wife, Trish, she travels with you everywhere. She's a big part of this with you as well. She is, most definitely. Yes. Oh, isn't it amazing? It, it keeps you both young, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It does, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Good on you, Bruce. You are watching Americana 2016 here in the Taranaki region of New Zealand, and you're seeing it first on Classic Restos. Back with more right after this. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Penrite. Australian made, family owned and operated. Make premium quality engine and racing oils, warranty approved coolants, automatic transmission and manual gear oils, a complete range of engine and fuel additives, heavy duty and industrial products for every application. Visit penrideoil.com for more information. Penrite, Australian made for Australian conditions since 1926. If you need a new piece of equipment for your workshop, you need Hair and Forbes Machinery House. From a garage jack through to a lathe, Hair and Forbes has the range. And Hair and Forbes Machinery House are Australian owned, established since 1930. You will be greeted by friendly, helpful staff and you can buy from anywhere online at machineryhouse.com.au. Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Find your closest store at machineryhouse.com.au.
Making our way through the 2016 Americana here at the Aerodrome, just outside of New Plymouth, we've got Phil. Hello, Phil. G'day, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate. Good. What a car. 1957 two-door Coupe de Ville. How elegant is this car? This is sensational. It certainly is. A lot of fun to drive. Phil, this car excites me. I mean, inside, the amount of trims, the styling on the on the door cards, everywhere you look, this is just amazing. What, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, I've, I've tried to put it all back to uh, 100% original. I was very fortunate to find a place in uh, Portland, Washington State, US, that uh, still made all the fabric and uh, fundamentally put it all back, used the original buttons, used all the original trim and just uh, spent hours of time um, getting it right. The brocade trim with the silver buttons, it's an invitation to come and sit on me. The back seat looks as good as the front seat. I mean, the bolstering, I mean, wow, you could just sit in this thing for hours. Yeah, it's very comfortable to travel in. We, we drove um, about 200 k's yesterday and uh, magic, absolutely but, magic. But Phil, even the hood lining looks good. There's style and attention to detail everywhere you look. Yep, very much. The hood lining's the only thing I didn't touch in the car. That's the original uh, hood lining in it from 1957. How long was your build time? Uh, just over four and a half years. I bet you work nights too. Um, Friday night was my thing, finish work, and I'd be in the shed till midnight most Friday nights. So, um, Isn't that therapeutic? I mean, I bet you you were looking forward to that every Friday night to do that. I was, and my good lady wasn't well for a while there. She's a, she's a cancer survivor, so it was a nice um, it was a nice pastime, something for me to go and lose myself in and, uh, and deal with that stuff. So, yeah, very therapeutic. It's beautiful that she's here today as well. Indeed it is, and she's uh, fighting fit and very healthy. That's so good, Phil. That is just so good. Okay, we look at the car at every angle. Again, the lines, uh, the critiquing of styling on this car is unsurpassed. What powers it up front, up under the hood? It's running a 365 cubic inch or 6 litre uh, original Cadillac motor, um, hooked up to a 4 speed auto, uh, which is stock standard stuff for it as well. Everything works well? Everything works well. And of course it works well because everything's powered by that instrument panel there. We look at that and that controls everything. Have a look at that dashboard. How cool is that? It is very cool. Um, you know, this whole stuff is, as many know, is inspired by that sort of jet age and I think uh, Cadillac catch it, captured it very well. It's good to see Phil so uh, importantly supporting Americana with your American flags hanging off the back of the rear quarters. How cool is that? Yeah, that was that had to be on. Couldn't, uh, couldn't come down here without that on there. <laughs> Americana is one of those pinnacle events here in glorious New Zealand. As far as the eye can see, we've got over 600 cars have turned up this year. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I haven't had a chance to have a look at them all yet. I've got to do the rounds, but um, yeah, if, you, if you've even got the slightest sweet spot for American cars, yeah. this is the place you want to come to. Phil, you've got lots to go and see, mate. Go and do that. We're here at the Aerodrome. We've got a classic aeroplane flyover happening while we're here, so we'll be able to enjoy that as well. Good on you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Fletch. No. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Okay, moving through, here we are parked up in Inglewood Township. What a beautiful place this is. We've got Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Fletch. How are you doing? Good. Look at you. You're uh, dressed in theme a little bit here, sitting on the tailgate of your 1966 El Camino Ute. How cool are you? Pretty cool. <laughs> having a good time? Yeah, we're having a great time. It's an awesome Ute. What can you tell us about this? We've had it for about two years, brought it in from the States. Yep. Got a 327 in it. Yeah. Um, my husband's fully restored it. Yep. Had a great time doing it as well. It's taken probably all that time and it was finished probably the morning that we left yesterday. So you got rid of him for a few hours in the shed of a night while he did it, eh? <laughs> Just a few. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. There's something special about that. I think when you restore a car, and there's a lot of stress in that too because you're worrying about things going wrong. So, you know, you get to your first destination, everything's good. Then it becomes enjoyable, doesn't it? Oh, it's great. Yeah, loving it. Now, Sharon, what about the colour scheme? Was there any input from yourself anywhere along the journey? A little bit with the colour scheme, yeah, Fletch, I think um, 
we both came up with the colour that we liked, different oranges, and looked at them, and yep, I got to say, yeah, I think that looks good. I think what's unique too over here in New Zealand, the cars are unique. We see a lot of models over here we don't get back in, in Aussie. Uh, you know, it's not every day you see a 66 El Camino U that's, that's been restored like this. Um, you've got a lot of variety over here. We have got a great variety over here, yeah. It's good. So are you a car girl? Where, where do cars go back with you? Like, when you were a little kid, what cars do you remember growing up? Oh, probably station wagons. Yep, yep my dad had, was into station wagons. But I really haven't gotten into cars a lot since I met Chris. Right. So I have to blame him for that. Well, there you go. <laughs> and aren't wagons cool? Wagons have come into their own too. I mean, once upon a time, people would look the other way when they saw a wagon, but not anymore. I mean, you know, wagons yeah. are in vogue. And, you know, as we alluded to, here we are in a, sitting on the tower gate of a 66 El Camino Ute. That's pretty awesome. That's great, Fletch. Good yep. Idea. All right, thank you very much, Sharon. You're welcome. Enjoy the park up here in Inglewood as part of the 2016 Americana. Thank you. <laughs> Classic Americana. Things don't get much better than this, and you can see more of it on a Fletch tour. There is nothing quite like a Fletch tour. Carlisle or Ford Nationals, GM Nationals and Chrysler Nationals await you. Book a Fletch tour, it's amazing. We've seen some absolutely amazing cars. What an event. Experience Route 66 from Chicago to Vegas or choose the Detroit tour. I would make it a point to go to Fletch Tours and come to Detroit? There are five Fletch Tours. Select the one that suits you best. See FletchTours.com or contact All Things Travel, Lara. In 1926, Australia's Penrite Oil Company was established. Almost 90 years of research, development and refining under the harsh Australian conditions has made Penrite Oil what it is today. Precision, performance, reliability and protection. Championship winning products. Trust Penrite. If you need a new piece of equipment for your workshop, you need Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Hair and Forbes Machinery House have showrooms around Australia and New Zealand that will have you browsing for hours. See the largest range of industrial and workshop DIY tools. You will be greeted by friendly, helpful staff and you can buy from anywhere online at machinerynehouse.com.au. Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Find your closest store at machinerynehouse.com.au. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Welcome back. Wasn't the park up at Inglewood impressive? That doesn't end there. Now it's Friday, day two of Americana, and this is the next cruise destination, Opanaki, which is not to be confused with I drink sake, a little town north of here where everyone's asleep. Moving through beautiful Opanaki, am I saying that right, Chris? You're nearly saying it correct, Opanaki. I'm getting there, aren't I? Yes, you are. It's You're doing well. It's progressive for Fletch here in New Zealand, getting through the pronunciation of the towns. I'm getting there. Yes, you definitely are getting there. You're fine. Don't know where I'm getting, but I'm getting there. Now, we have a lovely lady here by the name of Chris. Now, she's driving a 1960 Oldsmobile. Have a look at this car. An original car, unrestored car, four-door car. It's, this is amazing, Chris. What can you tell us about it? Um, well, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. When, you drive, when you're driving in it, it's almost like you're floating in it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The car's in original con condition on the inside. 
um, hasn't hasn't been restored. It's just a lovely original car. And there's less examples of Oldsmobiles around, so when you do see one, they really do stand out. The dashboard, have a look at that. I mean, it's detailed from one side to the other. It's like as though they said, well, we can't just have a Speedo cluster on one side. We're going to have to do something on the passenger side that's almost as nice. You're, you're correct there. On the um, passenger side, it's got little round circles that look like you should have your clock on there, or you should actually have your the speedometer on there so you can actually tell your partner to slow down. But no, it is. It's, it's beautiful. It is. It's just a beautiful car on the inside as well as the outside. I mean, you've got to love the shiny stuff. I mean, this is where these American cars just went way overboard. And in 2016, we look back at these cars that are over half a century old in most cases, oh. or pretty close to. Inside the door trims, we look around the interior, the original seats. Um, these top-end cars didn't do a lot of work in their day in a lot of cases, and that's why they slip under the radar. You can find these original cars in splendid condition because of that. They weren't the sort of cars that had young families go through them. No, probably not. They were probably... Um yeah, they were they were the, the high end car. I mean, you look at the inside of this particular car; it's probably never had a family in it. Yeah. Um, either that, or the kids were very good. Yes. Yeah. But uh, there's no as as in the olden days. I mean, there were no seat belts. We've got little lap belts on um, in the car at the moment um, because it's pillarless. Yes. Um, we can't have the the um, the crossover seat belts. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's a, it is a very, very special car. Chris, thank you so much for sharing this lovely Oldsmobile with us. It's a beautiful car. Everyone here, 600 odd cars about to leave Openaki and we're going down to... Hara. See, it's nice when Chris says it because she pronounces it correctly. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay, thanks, Rich. Okay, bye. Moving through Americana 2016, we're here in Hara. And is it time for another classic car interview? You betcha. It's time for Ma Mopar on today's show. We have Peter. Hello, Peter. Hi, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate. Great. 1959 Saratoga. Now, this car, it excites me. I mean, this is a car that's rare. It's got styling that is just unbelievable. Yes. But before we talk about the styling, let's talk about how this car performs. Yep. It's, it's, it's a big car. It's a big, comfortable car. You'd expect a car like this to be pretty cruisy, pretty lolloppy on the road, but... What I like about the Chrysler, this Chrysler in particular, it's all of those things, but it, it, it's, it's just a good cruiser. It's, it's a cruiser with attitude. It runs really well. So when you nail it, it's all there? Oh, it's all there. Absolutely, it's all there. Like I said to you before, um, when my wife doesn't come, come with me on some of these tours, the windows are down, the stereo's up, yeah. i got some back, back country roads on the way to Beach Hop or yeah. whatever, yeah. you have a bit of a play. Not fast, of course, not, not breaking any law, uh, but... It's uh, the feel. Now, uh, now, what are you running up under the hood? 383. Chrysler, it's, it, it's a 383. It's, it's a different motor to the later 383s that came out in the Roadrunners and the Chargers and so on. Uh, this engine was created to replace the Hemi. Uh, last year of production was 1958 for the Hemi, I believe, so they, they, they created this motor in 1959. It's a 383RB, which is a raised block, yes. so big, long stroke. The Hemi was a very heavy engine, ex expensive to build. Yes, yes, definitely. So, yeah, they lightened it up. Um, I mean, this, this car is only running a little two-barrel carburetor, uh, and I'm not going anywhere near it. I'm not touching it. It's the happiest car I've ever had. It's a torque monster. It flattens hills. It, it just drives so beautifully. Mopars have always been known for that. There's a, a proud heritage there of performance. Yes. And right across the board, a Mopar has generally been one of the harder cars to catch. Yeah. Automatic transmission. Yep. Three-speed push-button automatic. Unbreakable. 727? 727, yep. Gee, they, didn't they tool up with the 727 and run that for years? Absolutely, they did. Yeah, they put some heavy, pretty heavy horsepower behind that, um, in front of that gearbox. One thing about uh, the uh, cars built in America, right across the big three, if they could tool up once and if the thing worked, they traditionally kept that for a lot of years, didn't they? Yes, yes they did. Time to look at the body now. Uh, the sheet metal is just its just beyond. The rear quarter sections, the rear fenders and the, the chrome in back, but those tail lights, those incredible tail lights, and as we alluded to earlier, with this car back in its time going so well, there would have been a lot of cars at the time that used to watch those tail lights. <laughs> Probably quite true. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's got the most attractive rear end on any car that I've ever had. Now, Peter, inside the uh, interior is original. Now, that to me, it always blows me away. It excites me every time. I never get sick of this. To look at an interior and know that it's there from 1959, yes. that is just so so good. Yep, yep. Headlining's original, the dash pad's original, 
Um, the carpets have been redone, the, the cloth inserts on the seats have been re redone, but everything else is, is totally original. And on that note, Peter, thank you so much for uh, being a part of Americana 2016 on the behalf. There are over 600 muscle cars here at this event this year. Fletch does a couple of TV shows and we do five interviews per episode and uh, honestly it's towing the water stuff but it gives you an idea of the magnitude of this event, the quality of cars that turn up year after year to this event and of course the fantastic people that go along with it as well. Thanks Fletch, wonderful show. Really great to have you over here. You're welcome. Well, how amazing is that? What an incredible event. You've seen just some of Americana for 2016 here in the Taranaki region of the North Island of New Zealand. On next week's show, there's going to be more Americana with part two. As I say at the end of every show, no matter where you're watching from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penrite Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, and Pace Farm Eggs.